Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to the one who seeks. All right, this is a collective reading. What do we need to know today? like the five of wands no, six of wands sorry the ace of wands and the four of pentacles I don't know if that's a four or three, so I only see three. Um, yeah, there's four. Okay. Fourth one in there. All right. Roman numerals. Okay. So looks like you are you're sitting pretty you're almost like the empress here almost looks like an evil eye this is fast moving this is about actions Looks like you're going to be building your castle that burnt down. <laughs> so you're looking to the future here and you have some old situation that took everything away from you. It's up in smoke. It's up in flames everything that you worked for, your, your city, your town is dying. It has died. You lost your tangible things. You may have even have lost a little bit of your spirituality due to this traumatic event. All you have is this gold tooth. And this is very fast moving here. You are guided by the divine. You have the home on the mind. You're going to build stronger, taller. This is going to be more fantastical for you. Okay, and this is you here manifesting it. The spheres, the bubbles, things that when these pop, things are going to come out of here. This is, you're going to have a surprise. There are surprises here waiting for you. The evil eye here protecting you. You're here manifesting. It's like you have olive. All the branches in your hair. This is your crown. Lending out an olive branch. Okay. You 
have the fish, pescado. So these cards are English to Spanish. We have the heart. So this reminds me of like a love story, right? There are plenty of fish in the sea. There are other fish in the sea. This is your heart. Corazon. Right, this is about your love. Right, you can build a new house. There are other homes. What, what are you manifesting here with your heart? Fish is something that you can eat as well. Something that can be nourishing. You know, but it could also be poisonous. You know, fish has mercury in it. So, yeah, it's a really, this is a tough love situation to where something that you may love could also be very toxic. Okay, we have square. And we have sock. So the sock reminds me of my dog. He loves to bring socks as a gift to anybody that comes to the home. Kel Calcetine. And I don't speak Spanish, so I'm sorry if I butcher any of these words. This is about learning though, right? The square reminds me of thinking outside the box. Um, don't be a square, right? So it's like a negative condensation for somebody who is uh, set in their own ways and is, is um, not going to be persuaded in any kind of way is not fun, right? Q adrado, Q adrado. See if they say anything on the back. Oh, just that. Right, and so maybe you need to be more giving, right? Present gifts. This also keeps your feet warm. Also prevents you from grounding, right? But these are fun socks. I used to wear really fun socks when I was in high school. I had a friend who actually wrote me a poem about the girl in the pimp socks. Pretty sure that burnt in the fire. May or may not still have that. But this keeps you warm. This is fun. This is the opposite of being square. Right, but you're also not grounded. Okay, and the fish, they swim all over the place. They have the big grand ocean to swim around and be free and be in different places. Maybe going to Mexico, from California to Mexico, to Canada, to Maine, to Florida, who knows, wherever you are in the world. But because we're learning Spanish here, I'm thinking of Mexico. And we do have the 
uh, tattoo tarot here, which is very, um, Spanish like to me. And then we have castles, you know, which we typically see in foreign countries, not so much in California, um, or the U.S. I'm sure there are some castles out there, but it's more of like a European thing, a Spanish thing. You know, Day of the Dead. The day your house burnt. The day that your soul died. But ultimately, this is a gift. This is something that you manifested. And you've got to do a lot of traveling because of it. But it also made you a little bit of a square. Right? Because your heart is broken from this. But it also brought a lot of opportunities and a lot of gifts at the same time. Mm-hmm. Awakening crystal, soul awakening. I am awakening to my true essence and I am full, a full expression of my soul's vibration. Right? You're awakening. This fire had to happen for you to awaken. You were stuck before this. Fairy stone. Good fortune. I am open to receive all the goodness the universe has to offer me at all times in all ways. Right? The universe is offering this. And you're accepting it. Clear courts, clarity. I have clarity in all aspects of my life, right? This needed to happen. Something needed to burn down in order for you to have more clarity in your life. Okay, these cards are huge. All right. <laughs> And um, never used this before either. This is uh, something, the compassion box. This is about compassion. Okay, 12. Three is about creativity. Drive all blames into one. Commentary. This is advice on how to work with your fellow beings. Everyone is looking for someone to blame and therefore aggression and neurosis keep expanding. Instead, pause and look at what's happening with you. When you hold on so tightly to your view of what they did, you get hooked. Your own self-righteousness causes you to get all worked up and to suffer. So work on cooling and reactivity rather than escalating it. This approach reduces suffering, yours and everyone else's, right? Who are you blaming for this fire? I'll tell you right now, pg and &E. Others don't see it that way though. But you're being a square and holding too tightly to this view and you're hooked on it, and you're angry about it. And you're getting all worked up, and you're suffering for, from it. Okay, and you make others suffer because you're suffering. Because you're blaming others. But ultimately... You need to make this happen. Ultimately, this was 
something that was a blessing in disguise. Okay, 16 to 7. This is about spirituality. Whatever you meet unexpectedly, join with meditation. The unexpected will stop your mind. Rest in that space. When thoughts start again, do Tonglen. Breathing in whatever pain you may feel. Thinking that others also feel like this and gradually becoming more and more willing to feel this pain with the wish that others won't have to suffer. If it is a good shock, send out any joy you may feel, wishing for others to feel it also. Meeting the unexpected is also an opportunity to practice patience and non-aggression. Right? This is like, this is really bad. Um, you need to breathe it out. You need to meditate on it. And you need to see the good that comes out of it, even though it was a terrible thing. And share that joy with others. Because meeting the unexpected is also an opportunity to practice patience and non-aggression. Right? It's been five and a half years since this fire. You've had to practice a lot of patience to get to where you are right now. To rebuild this home. To find the clarity. To get the good fortune. To have the soul awakening. To stop blaming others. This is about your spirituality. Becoming one with your spirit. So that we can have creativity. Okay, my mind is King Kong strong, and I am even stronger. You know what helps in every situation? The ability to be King Kong strong within your thoughts. Strengthening your mind leads to humility, patience, self-confidence, courage, honesty, focus, flexibility, awareness, gratitude, and the ability to beat resistance and fear gremlins to a pulp. When you create habits to strengthen your mind, meditation, creative expression, relaxation, self-love, etc., you strengthen the rest of your life too. Relationships, careers, projects, sexy time, etc. When you understand that you're also stronger than your mind, your mind follows suit and levels up to superhero status. That cape looks hella fresh on you. Right? So this has just strengthened you. All, all of this has made you a better person, has strengthened your bonds, has created a sense of appreciation and gratitude within you in appreciating the things that you have even more than you ever have. You are even stronger. You are paradise strong. And I know that this reading completely relates to me <laughs> in every shape and form. Um, but this also relates to a lot of my community. And I know that some of my community may not have recovered. Um, what has happened here? But you are stronger. You are growing. You are learning new things. You are appreciating things more. And I really do hope that everyone is coming out of this a stronger person. Has 
gratitude and acceptance of what has happened and can see maybe why it needed to happen, how it's going to make you better in the long run, how it brought you out of something to bring you something. And that you are going to build your community again and you're manifesting something that's going to awaken your soul and bring you clarity. Um, I suggest that you meditate and look to in towards yourself. Um, yeah, maybe you appreciate the things that you have more or the people that you have in your life more. Because I certainly do. And I'm very excited and grateful to be back. After traveling half the country to find somewhere else to go, somewhere to call home, somewhere that felt right. Five and a half years later, I am back on my property rebuilding. And it's still, I have another few years here, another couple years before I actually have my home back or have a home back because it won't be my same home. It'll be a different home that will be even better. We are strong and we're going to stick together as a community and support each other. Hey, thank you for being here with me. Oh, it's very emotional reading for me. So, Godspeed. And I, I pray for all of you who have suffered. And I hope that you are in a better spot now. Amen. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.